Hi, my name is Danielle. I'm an independent Kazaz consultant from Tassie, and I just wanted to share you with you a project that I've made using the Cropodile. So, this is our Cropodile, and you can see a basic overview video in my list of videos that I've made, which will show you all the basics on how to use that. So, today I'm going to create a project using the guide of the Cropodile to show you can punch your different depths. Okay, so I'm going to do this card, and I'm going to add embellishments of the flowers as well, which I've made in a previous video. Alright, so what you need, this is just a piece of white cardstock and it is 5 inches by 10 inches and then I folded it in half and scored it at 5. Then I scored just the top part at 1 inch in from the spine end. Okay, and that's then going to give me this little opening like so, like a little spine on the card. And then this piece here, and I'm also going to add that to the front as well like so. This is one of our new papers from our vintage flourish range. It's called Victorian Days and it's just gorgeous. I really love the colours. And on the other side it's got a, a lovely um, scalloped wavy pattern as well. Okay so to get started what we need to do I'm going to punch our holes. Now I've already marked and measured where I want my holes to go but I'm just going to do the depth. Now ideally what you do when you're doing the card you do your two shallow holes and then your two deeper holes. So I'm, going to, I'm just going to show you how to do them um, just one set. Okay so I've got my 3 16th guide and I've already set it to where I need to, to do the closest hole to the edge. So I'm going to hold my crocodile and I'm going to look through the hole, I'm going to line up the hole in the, in the middle of my line and I'm just going to squeeze. Okay, so that's going to put it exactly in the same line as this one here. And then to change it, I just untwist it, I'm going to slide this one back, this one I'm going to put just there. There's lots of little notches which is hard to see on the video um, along the edge here so you can actually you know, measure each time. Um, I'm not entirely sure what the increments are. I'm sure it would be in inches and um, but I just remember you know two big notches, three little ones, whatever is the easiest to do. Okay and so then again I'm going to go in on my line and just punch like so. Alright, and then I'm going to grab my eyelets. These ones are from the red pack. I believe these ones are called Flamingo. Yes, Flamingo. So they're the lovely light pink ones, which I think goes really nicely with our, our Vintage Days paper. So I'm just going to grab out two of those. And I'm going to pop in. Before I set my eyelets, I'm just going to rub out my pencil line. Because the last thing you want to have is a pencil line in the middle of your card. Okay. Pop in our eyelets. Now to set our eyelets we need our crocodile and we need the top being on A and our base being on 1. Okay, and make sure that your top goes in and then just squeeze. Remember not to squeeze too hard because you don't want to curl the back back into, back into it. Okay, and we'll do the second one. Pop that in there. Grab a crocodile and squeeze. Really nice and easy. And there are our eyelet set. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do to complete our card is just stick our paper on. I've just put some double sided super tape on there. And I've just cut this slightly smaller than my base card. Okay, so there's that like so. Then what I'm going to do. I'm going to stamp my image. This is just a piece of regular white and I'm going to use one of the birthday stamps from our new range and I'm going to use Dusty Concord Distress Ink. I'm just going to ink up my image and I'm going to try and hopefully get it stamped straight. Let's see how we go. No, that's not straight. I'm going to try it again on the other side. I'm very renowned for getting stamping it not at all straight. That's just one of my things. That's much better. Okay, so there's our stamped image. Now I'm going to go around the edge of that with some bundled sage. Okay, and our blending tool and our blending foam just to soften that up a bit. 
I find that the bundled sage colour goes really nicely with the, the hints of green that are in the paper that we're using. It's just got a light green around the outside. It looks really pretty. So what I'm also going to do while I've got my bundled sage is just go around the edge of my card just to highlight that green. You don't want too much. You just want to add just a little bit. give it that real vintage look. Okay. So then what we're going to do is going to grab some magic mount. I've cut my magic mount up already into some little squares. Just going to pop some of those on the back. Okay. Okay, so this will just raise it up a bit off the card, giving it a bit more dimension. Okay, and pop those off, and then we're going to pop it straight onto our card. Okay. So I'm just going to line up in between my eyelets over here, so just so that it's centered in between them. So that's the center of my card. And pop it down there like that. Okay. Now the next thing I'm going to do is grab some ribbon. So this is just a, a white ribbon. And it's a quarter inch ribbon. So it's quite hard to see. Yeah, so, what I'm going to do now is do a ribbon. And so, what I'm actually going to do is use the distress stain in bundled sage and colour my ribbon. Instead of using white, I'm just going to use the slightly tinted green. So, you just rub it along your ribbon. And just be aware, it will be a little bit wet when you do this so it has some time to sit it aside okay and it will lighten as it dries as well okay so there's our ribbon all coloured and come back when it's dry okay the next thing to do is to thread our ribbon through so I'm going to start from the back and Push it in like so. Now you need to make sure your ribbon is nice and dry when you do this. You don't want to get green marks all over your card. Okay. And then across to the one beside it. Now if you wanted to, you could do all of this on the inside of your card if your holes can reach up uh, so that you don't have your eyelets on the back. It's entirely up to you what you do. Okay, then back over to the top. Like so, and there we've got a nice little uh, crossed piece. I'm just going to tie it on the back, like so, just in a knot. Don't want to tie it too tight because you don't want to have it really pulled really, really tight on the other side. So just check before you do the final knot. And then you can just trim it off nice and close to your knot. Okay. Just trim off those knots. Like so. Okay, and nice finished on the back. Alright, and so then what's all that's left to do is to stick on our flowers. So like I said earlier, you can see the flowers in another video that I did. So they're just done with vellum and our distress stains. I just put a little bit of super tape on the back of those to stick them on because I wanted to be able to see the, the pink through the centre so I didn't want to put any magic mount or anything like that so I've just done it on the side of the of the hole and there you go. There's the completed card.